landscape we've got here we are. This is uh, the wheel turning without the load. That, uh, that motor is giving about 3,000. It's now giving us about 10, 1100. And that's giving us about 3,000, 3,500 RPM. Without a load on it, it's going fine. And it's dishing out 37 volts. Now, we tweak it up a bit. Right, so now it's going up a bit. It's now dishing out 43 volts. Uh, around about 30 amps. So it's like one kilowatt. So it's now dishing out one kilowatt. When we put the inverters on there, you should get a reading. This is without a load. So let's take a reading now. The wheel is running lovely and we're now getting roughly I can't see really I need, I need to blow this up a little bit Let's see what we get I'll tell you what it reads Basically, as it stands now, the power curve on that PMA says I should be getting about 50 amps. So, uh, I can run this to 52 volts, 52 volts, which I know will give me about 100 amps, and that will give me 5,000 watts of power but I need 5,000 of inverters so basically that is the 16 coils which is the um, we'll assume is the it's the coils doing it we're getting about a thousand rpm a thousand rpm at five to one I'm getting now four to five thousand rpm on on the BMA and I'm getting 43 volts. I can get it up higher, I know I can. So basically guys, the next one, I'll stick a couple of this inverters on there and uh, we'll see what, uh, but I know got on the output when I stuck those on there, I got about uh, 500 watts, but then the load, once the load went, that got hot and burnt that. Burnt that. So the PMA is very dangerous, guys. It's a 12 volt PMA, and yet it blew the inverters 
and the power inverters, but the grid inverters, they got their own, they come, they come on charge after 24 volts and they have a maximum of 52. So they have their own controllers, MPPTs. So there you are guys, as you can see, the wheel is running really smooth. There you go. It's a killer, isn't it? And inside is going to be the, co the, the coils and the, uh, and the magnets, which will go next. I will try and get a video to you of that PMA connected to them grids which will then give us a load and you will find that you won't get much out of it you need a good a good torque so we'll see once we start building the coils and we get to say the four coils and see if we can get uh, some kind of power out of it but at the moment that PMA needs one hell of a lot of power it needs a hell of a lot and be careful with it watch your volts when that volt says oh, it's gone off oh, it's come off the thing but you're looking at 40 volts at uh, I would say 30 40 amps you're looking at one and a half kilowatt two kilowatt depends I can't put the meter on here because it just says 10 amps See, I put a voltmeter on that thing and it blew the shit out of it because it only goes up to 10 amps. So I know that that goes more. So watch your PMA. There you go, guys. The next one, we'll put a load on it and see how we get on. But the wheel is spinning really... Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? 1,200 RPM does not have a problem with the uh, eight wheels on it. Cheers guys.